What I love when you tune into Him for the Blessing Summer Camp 1114. So I come to, to do the final video on the uh, Leopard Swarovski purse and the belt and the shoes that I've done. So basically I'm just going to explain to you how many bags of crystals I purchased, what size, what color and all that. So this is the purse. I'm just showing you the purse uh, right now basically so I can point and show you the colors of rhinestones that I'm uh, talking about. This color right here, which is the very main, main color, and I use more of these than anything. Uh, the light yellowish, like goldish color. The name of these, uh, the size that I use is 12SS. And I'll scroll the color of them across the screen. This is the color that I use. I actually, the size is 12SS, and I purchased 16 bags of these. And uh, this was the wholesale lot, so it was the 1,400, and I think 1,400 or 1,444, something like that, uh, crystals in the bag. And I did not use all of these these light yellow ones. I purchased way too many. I purchased uh, I think four four bags, too many. I have four bags actually that I haven't even opened, and this is the bag that they come in. Sometimes they come in these little plastic things. Sometimes they come in a little paper wrapped. Um, it's different. They come in different things. But this is one of the bags that I didn't use. I have four of these bags left that I did not use on the shoes, purse, and belt. Which I'll be using on other projects. And I didn't open them so I can keep up with how many I'm using. And this is some that I have left over as well. So I have four bags plus this. Which you see in here. Left over from those. And I get try to get a little closer so you can see the color a little better. Hopefully you can see the color of them. So I do have quite a bit of those left. Now for the darker goldish yellow on the inside, these were uh, size 16 SS. And I purchased two bags of these, which I only needed one actually, but I purchased two bags. And this is what they look like in the top. I poured some in the top. So this is how much I have left. And this a lot as you can see. And I use uh, probably like a three quarters of, of the bag. And then I had a whole bag left as well. So I have quite a bit of those left. I can use these on something else as well. And like I said, those were size uh, 16 SS. I purchased two bags total. And they were a little more expensive because they're, the, the size of them were a little bit larger. I can't remember exactly how much. But they were a little bit more expensive. And the black that you see here, the black crystals, uh, the color of those, I think they're called jet, if I'm not mistaken. It might be jet black, something like that. And I purchased a total of three bags of those. And I have a lot left. But I purchased those because I have some another pair of shoes that I'm doing. I need the black on. But So this is what they look like. And this is how many I have left. Those in the plate. The top that I just showed you plus these. This is about two. Maybe about two and a half bags. So like I said, I didn't use a whole lot on the shoes. So that's that's the total amount of, of all the crystals that I brought. I brought 16 of the light yellow. Uh, 16 bags of the light yellow. Times, I think it was $46.99 a bag. Then I brought two bags of the dark yellow, the topaz. And I brought three of the jet. So that's how many bags that I brought purchased. And that's how many that I have left over what I just showed you. And I did not purchase all of these rhinestones at the same time. I didn't go out and just splurge and spend that much money at one time. Um, basically, I just brought them as I had the extra money, basically. Um, it probably took me over five or six months probably to um, get all of the, the crystals that I have. So I just, like I said, bought some here, there, here, there, here, there, until I got enough. 
Now for the glues, on the other hand. I get asked all the time what type of glue did I use. And I'm not comfortable saying what type of glue did I use yet because I am still experimenting with different types of glues. And I actually used this at one point, uh, but this is actually a jewelry glue. Now I recommend that when you're doing your shoes or whatever that you read the back of the shoe of the glue and match it with the material that you're trying to adhere the rhinestones to. Trust me, it is very important that you do this because if you don't, the rhinestones will not stick. They will just pop off. This is a jewelry glue, but it's actually pretty strong and it, it adheres to wood. So it wasn't as bad. I tried it on a pair of shoes before and I squirt some out so you can see what I'm, what I'm talking about. It's a little bit, as you can see that. And all of these glues mainly probably will have like a strong scent so you want to use them in a well ventilated area. This one, um, most of the glues also are, are industrial glues. I recommend, I recommend using an industrial glue and I also recommend using a thicker, a thick type glue. And what I mean by that, I'm going to show you this one. This is the Dazzle Tags that I just put on there. And you can see how thick that is. That's, that's thick. Now this is another glue. This I wouldn't recommend to use on shoes. I tried it. It worked okay, but it wasn't just, you know, I just wouldn't recommend it. But it does say jewelry glue, so it works well when I made the earrings and the charms. This is another glue that I purchased that you can see the bottle is still full because I hate it. And I would not recommend this to my worst enemy. Do not buy this glue here. This is called Quick Hold. And this glue I put on my shoes when I was uh, doing them because I ran out of one of the glues I was using. And I'm a sh this, I don't know. It's just really watery. Let me show you what it looks like. And I should have read it. I don't know what I was thinking. I just grabbed it because I was in a rush at the time. And it didn't have the same type of glue that I wanted to try. But this is, look how, this is really watery. And it did, it does say on the bottle that it's thin. So I guess it's my fault I did. I didn't read it before I got it. And as soon as I used this glue, I put the rhinestones on. It dries extremely fast, so I have to give it that. It does dry fast, but as soon as I use it, use it on my shoes, I was able to take my nail pretty much and just scrape the rhinestones right back off my shoe. So I knew then that this was not the glue for me. <laughs> so I didn't use it. Um, the last thing you want to do is spend all that money on the Swarovski crystals and then lose them as you walk, pretty much. So I wouldn't recommend this at all. So do not buy this one. Not for shoes. So, uh, like I said, I recommend um, using a thicker industrial glue. Read the back of it. Make sure you read the back of it. If you have a leather shoe, make sure that the glue adheres to leather and glass because the rhinestones are pretty much considered as glass. So, if you have a leather shoe, make sure that the glue adheres to leather and glass. Both. Um, also, I would recommend a thicker glue and a clear drying glue because... Um, you want to put a pretty good amount of, of, of coat on your shoes and let the glue kind of squeeze up in between the rhinestones if that makes sense and that way it, when it dries it'll hold the rhinestones on better. I hope that makes sense what I'm saying. You want it to, to kind of seep up through the, the cracks of the rhinestones so they will be compact together so they won't pop off when you're wearing them. So like I said when I find the perfect glue I will let you know. <laughs> But I'm still trying right now. Um, I've tried Dazzle Tech and, and I didn't like it. I mean, not Dazzle Tech, Gem Tech. I tried it. It's okay. I've tried E6000. It's okay. Um, but I haven't found just a glue that, like I said, that I'm comfortable with saying, buy this glue. It works really, really well. So when I find that glue, I will let you know. And I did not purchase all of these rhinestones at the same time. I didn't go out and just splurge and spend that much money at one time. Um, basically, I just brought them as I had the extra money, basically. Um, it probably took me over five or six months probably to um, get all of the, the crystals that I have. So I just, like I said, brought some here, there, here, there, here, there, until I got enough. 
So I'm actually looking for a crystal that still has the bling in it to it like Swarovski crystals but not the price <laughs> of the Swarovski crystals. So uh, I want to find those for so when I s decide to start doing and uh, designing the shoes for you all I can use those crystals instead so you won't have to spend so much money on a pair of shoes if that makes sense. Now if you want me to use Swarovski crystals I will. But the shoes would be very, very, very expensive, especially if I do them all over. So, um, I'll keep you updated on that. I have a friend that knows someone that has uh, crystals, but they are, I wouldn't be, if I use from this person, I wouldn't be able to tell you who and actually I got them from because the, they don't want to be known. I put it that way. So, um, if I do that, um, I'll let you know. I'll keep you updated on that. And I recommend also to to store your shoes in a box if you don't have them on a shelf where they won't be banging around a lot. I recommend keeping them in a in a, in a box or something just to protect them from um just to protect the crystals on the shoe. You don't want to put these at the bottom of your closet and stuff piled on top of it. So uh, I recommend keeping them in a box. Or on a shelf or something somewhere out of the way, you know. So and until you're ready to basically wear them. So I think that's basically it. I covered everything in the shoes in person. Everything I'll post pictures of the shoes in person again at the end of this video. So that is basically it. Uh, let me know what you think, and I will talk to you later. YouTube. Till then, take care.